Hey Awesome Doodle fans, this video uh, isn't just for Awesome Doodle fans, but this video is for anyone who raises puppies in their home. This is a follow-up video uh, to my video a while back when I did the video on how to make a whelping box. I thought you guys might like to see our new puppy playpen. Um, I got uh, this idea from Jane Killian and um, I've modified it just a bit but it's pretty much the same premise. Uh, so what you're going to need in order to do this is you need these little play pens. You can order these from PetSmart. They're about $60 each and each one of these across is two feet and then you can order these in 24 inches tall or 30 inches tall. In order to make this puppy playpen, you need to order two of these. So uh, when you have such a big playpen like this, you have to frame the bottom of it so it doesn't pop out in the sides when the puppies push against it. So you can see here, um, I've got one by four strips, and I've got two eight foot strips, and then the other two I've cut down to six foot. And I've just secured those on the corners with a little tiny piece of angle. I know it's kind of messy, but it really doesn't matter what you use here. You can use a hinge or anything. This makes a eight foot by six foot playpen. So Morgan is going to demonstrate the little tricks we can do with this playpen. And for those of you who raise puppies, I think you'll really appreciate this. Um, first of all, there's a regular door here. And uh, the regular door, Morgan, can you show them how that opens? There's two latches on there, so the door opens up like that, so we can let mom in and out. If you've raised puppies before, you know that when the puppies are five, six, seven, eight weeks old, and you get in the pu puppy box, they're doing nothing but biting your toes and scratching your, your legs. So with this 32 feet, what you'll notice is that we have four foot left over. Okay, so we configure it so the extra four foot ends right in the middle. Now, we can pull this over to the other one and latch it. And now we can be on this side with no puppies and we can do our maintenance on the litter box. We can vacuum everything. You can see here we have our shop vac. And uh, we can work over here without the puppies jumping on us. And all the puppies are contained on this side. Isn't that beautiful? These puppies uh, have been wild the last hour and uh, everybody's just now starting to calm down. These are mini Poochie's uh, puppies, by the way. And everybody's getting ready to take a nap. All right, Morgan, show them how we unhook that again. So again, oh, one other thing. In 2018, we're going to be doing more challenges with the puppy. And one of those challenges, here, show them with the food, is what we're going to be doing, this is another idea we got from Jane Killian, is we can put the food bowl over there while the puppies are on this side and let the puppies have to figure out that they have to walk around the fence to get to the food. Uh, while that doesn't seem very hard, when you have food in there that smells really good and the puppies are really hungry, sometimes they just try to break through the fence and they can't figure it out. So this is a very uh, easy obstacle for them uh, to uh, figure out. Alright, and then we're going to, you can go either way with that I think Morgan. I think you can go towards the back with that. Yep, and then we latch it there in the back.
That's it. That's how we do it at Awesome Doodle. Over and out.